Hey guys, uh, I got a new video that uh, I wanted to post for a while here. Um, it's kind of an update. I haven't uh, posted much lately. I've been kind of busy and I had some issues going on. So, um, But here's a, here's a new Iconic uh, X FPV frame. Um, it's, a, it's a completely different setup. Um, this is designed for 8 and 9 inch props only because of these arms are shorter. But you could still use your old arms on the whole center plates. Uh, but let me tell you, you know, what I did. Uh, first of all, these arms are shorter and they're, they're beefier. And uh, where the motor mounts, it's smaller space or you're not going to run NTs or, you know, like the uh, 4008 Tiger motors. You're not going to run those big honking pancake motors. You could still run um, Tigers. I got to run this one. You can run it either direction because it fits inside there. And then you could feed your wires through the hole there. Or you could flip it over and run it a bigger diameter that way. But uh, Tiger 2216s fit perfect. Um, so so let me just go on with the design of the plates. Um, this is the, this is new Iconic FPV. This is more of my 8, 9 inch version. Um, as you can see, there's a little different here in the plates. There's only two center plates. That's it. I incorporated the, the flight deck and the bottom plate to make this the, uh, the sandwich plates for the arms. And instead of having a whole vibration damp plate, I mill out aluminum front GoPro plate here. This will work for GoPro Hero and 3. Um, extends out and you get left, no prop in view. Any In any setting, you get no prop in view with this uh, setup. But if you look under here closely, there's vibration dampeners four of them that separate that to this. So, um, you know, it's got uh, its own isolation. It's still foldable, so still going to do your foldable, um, foldable out. And the only reason I don't fold in, guys, a lot of people ask, is because it would have to make these plates wider, and I really don't want to make it wider for any unnecessary weight. So um, also what I did, the top plate opens up in the back, so now you've got access to the battery through the top here, and you could do a taller battery. So you could see that. See that? So that's the new setup there. I'll go ahead and attach this top plate on, but um, that's Iconic F FPV. Um, I'm not going to call it version 3. I'm going to have another name for it. Um, this is the very first one that I made. Um, Keith is getting a couple of these. Um, Gutsy, he does some awesome FPV videos. And um, Rodney is getting the third one, and he also does some great videos, and uh, he's a really cool guy. So, so both of these guys, I'm really glad that they are getting the first uh, first ones of these. So, um, stay tuned for their videos and everything else. But this whole setup is basically eliminating about a hundred grams because I'm eliminating this whole plate, arms are shorter, and the design incorporation. Your distro board is going to be up to you. Um, you can run a half inch spacer in here and another quarter inch on the arms. It'll give you a half inch between there. Then you can run your distro in there, or you can run the distro here and your flight control here. But this design was made for the flight control to be in the middle, but you can also put a 36 millimeter board here, like open pilot stuff. So you can do two open pilot here and stack them. Um, cause you got an inch and a half up here too. So, and then, um, you also can get right to your open pilot stuff right through the whole Full thing. frame assembled, guys. Um, I don't have this, the arms bolted down, but just to show you. Um, there's the front. There's the back. There's your battery uh, mounting. I was going to show you. I don't know if this is the right one or not. No, it's not the wrong one. Anyways, that's the new... That's the way it looks. That's it, right there. Um, it's a lot lighter, guys. It's a lot lighter than the last one. Um, and uh, I'm going to make the arms longer for, for the 10-inch version and then spread out the uh, GoPro plate, put an extra mount in the back to keep it more sturdy. But that's the new uh, Iconic X FPV frame with the new GoPro mount. This isn't replacing the last one. This is just going to be another one to the lineup because there is less space for uh, electronics. So um, it's not replacing the other one. So if you got the old one, don't think that you got an old one. 
you just got a different version. So this one is going to be cheaper too. It's going to sell cheaper than the other one. And uh, I'm pretty proud of this. And also I didn't mention um, to, to use a brushless gimbal, I'm also going to make a plate that goes in the front here to mount your brushless gimbal so you can minimize this plate and run a, an RC timer or a similar type of gimbal. So and as you can see, three plates. And you can run the arms either direction, like I said before. So, so you can see, like the bottom plate actually redesigned a little bit too. Same layout as my other one, but just the cutouts a little bit different than the design here. But I mill out all my aluminum, so makes it more unique. Um, so I have to say this is probably my favorite, most favorite design so far of my FPV stuff. So um, I'm going to switch over my other frame, my original FPV, and run mine on this one now too um, for proprietary FPV that I do. So I don't do much, but I just been practicing. So, but yeah, that's it. It's 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 under 400 grams, guys. No more than like 400. And um, you could pretty much run any motor except for the pancake motors. Bigger pancake, you know, the NTs or the 4006, 8s, Tigers, stuff like that. So, But that's it. I'm very excited about this. You can see looking down, you got access to your 36 millimeter flight controls like your NAS 32s or your open pilot stuff right through the top so you don't have to take this top plate off. You can just reach in, put it in, take it out, whatever. Um, just make, lets it more accessible, and if, you, if it sticks out, you've even got room. So. so that's it. Iconic FPV. Iconic X FPV, guys. I'm going to have to come up with a name. Maybe somebody can help me come up with a name for this one. And of course, it's going to keep the I Iconic X logo. But uh, we're going to give it a sub name. So, see all these straps here? That's going to be for the uh, GoPro. So, you could move it over a little bit. And it's it's properly centered. So, your lens, your strap hole doesn't go over your lens and stuff like that. So, and then you could mount something else on the side. But your GoPro 3 will sit right here and it'll fit perfectly flush. So, all right, guys. So, thanks for watching. This is it. Iconic X.